Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I got this to be this. Okay, so here is what it's spring and I'm just trying to share with you a little idea and it's also going to be Easter. So now, this is what the fireplace looked like after I did the whole makeover. And if you're interested in seeing the whole makeover, that means you have to subscribe. You have to subscribe and make sure your notification bell is on so you can be notified when I upload the full tutorial of how I got my fireplace and my accent wall and all of that to this. So all I'm doing here, guys, I'm using my tape measurement and I'm just doing a little bit of measurement because I want to find the center, okay? The center of this fireplace because I'm going to be hanging a clock and I don't want it to be crooked or sideways or hanging all over. So that's why I'm doing my measurement trying to find the center. Okay, so if it's your first time here, my name is Shayna. On this channel, I do a lot of home DIY projects and different type of crafting. If it's not your first time here, you know what time it is. Hey, 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 welcome back. And thank you guys so, so much for your continuous love and support. I couldn't have done it this far without you guys. I want to say thank you, thank you. Now, if you haven't as yet, please give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far, okay? We're only like literally a minute into the video but please give it a thumbs up or if you make it all the way to the end drop me a comment hit the subscribe button turn your notification bell on and share this video out okay so here we go now i found my center i'm using my little hammer and there's a little thing that came with the clock you can't see it from this far but that's what i'm trying to like bang or knock into the ship lock so i'm doing that and make sure it's center then here we go we're putting up the clock yes and if you're interested in know where i get this clock from i got it from amazon don't ask me what words what part of amazon or whatever because i don't remember i bought it a little bit now so but just know i got it from amazon okay and i wouldn't recommend buying it either because that thing with the hand it don't work anyways don't come from me amazon anyways but it's very pretty if you're looking for something pretty because it works for it and it's a quiet tick it doesn't go tick 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 it's quiet. I'm not here to advertise the clock. Enough of that. So here we go. I place two candles stand on one side. And then you want to have one high, one low. So now I'm going ahead and I'm placing that vase over on that side. Of the other side of the mantle. And here I have some picks. Like I have these. These are like old. I have them on the end. I think I always go to like Marshall. Not Marshall. Sorry. I always go to like Joanne Fabric, Hobby Lobby. In all those places, like after the holidays, different um, hol different season, not holidays. I mean holidays too, and get um, whatever is on sale. Because you know, after season, like after spring, everything goes on sale and all that. So these are like old; they're probably not even in stock anymore. And I used to make wreaths, so I, these are like leftovers. People stop buying my wreaths. So I'm like, I don't use them in my house, anyways. So, anyways, I went down to my basement, got some of those picks, put it together, and guess what? I just noticed that the flower matches my outfit, and that's my work outfit. So those of you at work who are watching me, don't come for me. I work accordingly, how I feel. Okay, anyways. So I'm just arranging these flowers and I'm putting different one in and then I'm just messing with it, playing with it. I got some tulips, some that looks like purple daisy. Don't ask me what it is because I don't know flowers. I just know what looks good. So I'm doing that and then I'm just playing with it. There goes the tulips, those are really nice. Um, and then some of these plants too, I got them from the Christmas tree shop. In our area, it's closed down. We don't have a Christmas tree shop anymore, which sucks. Because, hey, who don't like Christmas tree shopping? Especially, like, dude, like, seriously. Christmas tree shop, when it comes to, like, summer stuff and spring stuff, anything at all you need, go to a Christmas tree shop. It's reasonable, and they have good stuff, but they close it down in my area, which is not fun. I mean, every store is closing down. Where are we going? How are we going to survive out here, people? I think we're all going to have to start shopping online. I don't know how we're going to survive, but hey, 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 we're still here. Anyways, enough of me talking about that. We are arranging our flower in that vase. I got it a while back at the Macy's backstage. So I'm kind of like just digging through my stuff and I found my stuff. Now I went ahead and I put two skinnier um, candle stand on the other side. I think I got those from Hobby Lobby. Don't quote me on that because I can't remember. I have them for a while, but I'm just like literally going through my stuff and digging out to see what I could find to put something together. So the little eggs over there, definitely I knew where that's from. It's from Dollar Tree, found it in my stash. And those vase, I think I have a video on how I make those. Those are like literally uh, NSC bottles that I pick up while walking my dog in the college. <laughs> I used to live in a college kid area and I picked those up and I brought them home and I kind of like turned them into vase. They look so nice. So I'm over there playing with it. So. I mean, before putting those um, lavender plants in, you could leave it like it is. Or you could, if you want to be too much, you could be like that. So now I just have like some of those moss ball and I'm just putting it underneath the cloth. Underneath the cloth to make it look nice. I mean, it looks, 
yeah so that's what i'm doing this is just an idea listen this is my house you don't have to do what i do but this is just an idea and i'm sharing it with you you don't have to like it either because you don't live here okay all right so just do what you please and you know and what works for you and if you want to copy me these things are probably not even like in store anymore but you could copy similar just find something similar so anyways I put that little bee thing on the vase. I got it from the Dollar Tree, found it in my stash too. So I have one little half dead bunny. It's not like, it's a curve up bunny. It's not even standing. And it was a bunny for outside. So what I did as you saw me with that spray paint, I took it out in my garage and I spray painted. Cause guess what? We're in a budget here. And this is just to show you guys. I mean, you don't have to be trending. You don't have to go spend too much money to make your home look good. You could use whatever you have on hand. Use what you have. Not everybody can go for the new modern, trendy, whatever style. Don't stress yourself. That's all social media. Use what you already have. Once your house is clean, that's all that matters. Make sure it's clean and it smells good. That's all that matters. You don't have to kill yourself. Don't go stress yourself to and sell all your stuff and get rid of your stuff. I mean, if you can afford it, then go for it. For me, I can't, so I just redo. Anyways, I have those little beads, 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 beads that I have right there. And all I'm doing, I'm just hanging it back on those little hoops from Christmas from my mantle. And I'm going to tell you, yeah, most of you probably saying, Man, why did not you just paint the brick white? No, I really like the texture of the brick and I like the bricks. So I want to see a little bit of brick coming in. My style is kind of like that traditional old time look. I love the matter, the modern that's going on now, but I also love that traditional look from then so i have these little i have that carrots that i uh, got from the dollar tree as well found them in my stash <laughs> and i'm just going and i'm just hanging these you know wherever i feel like so i have a lot of stuff in my stash because you know i guys always i always craft so half of the time i just buy because buy i don't know because i'm like i could use this but whatever so i'm just going around that bead and i'm trying to spice this up so i'm just hanging those little carrots wherever it looks good to me I'm just hanging it. So I hang it and I kind of like look at it. I'm like, all right. And that's what I'm doing. Now, again, again, like I say, this is an idea. I did not leave this this way because I didn't want it that way. I kind of took up those two vase and just kind of leave it plain with just the clock. I just like the clock alone, nothing else. I like it to look clean. But again, this is an idea of how you can make your little house look, you know, or your big house look springy or easterly. I know, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, don't don't tell me that those olive tree look too much because they they're not there anymore. Right? They're there. I just I was just doing the mantle and I happens to be there. So I'm just taking those two little throw pillow, putting my chair, you know, give it a little chop, leave it right there. Oh, and if you guys like those mirror are interested in how I do those mirror, I have a video going to pop up in the iCard above and also in the description box below. You can check that out. So here is what the fireplace look like. And for some reason, I look like I can't keep the camera straight. So this is a close up look and from different handle. They say that right angle, different angle of how it looks and I think it turned out absolutely beautiful I kind of like that purple slash lavender lavender and I like how that tulips like sit between those little daisy and those little things it and to me it looks nice and ain't that bad you know so just to show you guys how you could use the simple little thing and remember guys all these little things I already had them around the house look at that bottle like that's just literally drew twine I use hot glue and wrap around that I also have a video on that I think I'm gonna also link that in the description box so if you're interested in using any type a bottle wine bottle beer bottle whatever bottle it is to make these these um vase you could go ahead and, and do so i use them as candle holders before but look at my little bunny yeah it's my outdoor bunny and i spray paint him to make him look nicer inside all you have to do is wash it spray paint it it looks nice and there you have it ain't so bad ain't so bad ain't so bad ain't so bad you know looks nice it's welcome and inviting when i get home from work and i go in that room it makes me feel at home that's just me so if you made it this far throughout this video and you like what you see here why don't you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up not a little thumbs up i need like a big like you know like a big like a big thumbs up not a little one big one like a big thumbs up and then also after you do that let's make sure you hit that subscribe button it's a little red button it's a little red red button and if you're not logged in it will show gray and it will say please log in so you go ahead and do that login. It's just your email address and all that. You log in and then you subscribe to the channel. Now, after you do that, you want to make sure you turn your no that little bell. It's your notification bell. You want to turn that on so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Also, type me a comment in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys, okay?
Also, please go ahead and follow me over on my social media page. I tend to post more over there, post more over there than I do on YouTube. Okay, you can follow me over on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Those are going to be linked in the description below. So go ahead and click on those links and follow me on my social media page. Okay, now with all that have been said, just remember that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Until next time, be blessed.